I purchased Ben's original Basmati rice, and it was two thirty three a package. Then I purchased two packs of Spanish rice from Great Value, and they were a dollar thirty six a piece. I purchased two packs of Jasmine rice from Great Value, and they were a dollar thirty six a piece. And I like the Great Value Artesian Crafted Cheddar Havarti Macaroni and Cheese. I think it's absolutely delicious. So I did purchase that, and it was $2.38 a box. And then I purchased the Artesian Crafted Smoked Gouda Macaroni and Cheese from Great Value, and that also was $2.38 a box. I purchased fruit from Walmart. I purchased these strawberries, and it looks like they're 16 ounces for the strawberries, and they were $2.24. I purchased American black berries, and they were $2.77 for 6 ounces. I purchased gem pack raspberries, and the raspberries were $3.37 for six ounces over here we have our blueberries and the blueberries are blueberries north bay produce and the blueberries cost two dollars and 97 cents and that is for one pint over here i have baby cut carrots and i purchased the carrots for let me check here on my receipt, the baby carrots were a dollar twenty-four for one pound. Baking items I purchased: this Pillsbury Moist Supreme Yellow Cake Mix, and it was only a dollar, and that's even a better price than the Dollar Tree because the Dollar Tree sells their cake mixes for a dollar twenty-five. This is a really good deal. Then I purchased the Moist Supreme Devil's Food Cake, the chocolate. And that also was a dollar. Over here, I decided that I would need some butter to bake with. And I purchased the Great Value Sweet Cream Butter. And it's salted. And that was priced $3.68. Over here, I purchased frosting for my cakes. I purchased the Pillsbury Vanilla Frosting for $1.74 and the Pillsbury Creamy Supreme Chocolate Fudge Frosting for $1.74. And then I decided I want to bake some banana chocolate chip muffins. So I was looking for chocolate chips and I did find the chocolate chips over here. Um, I purchased a Great Value Semi-Sweet Chocolate Chips for a pound. It was $4.24. I purchased Great Value Kobe Jack and Monterey Jack Cheese, 8 ounces for $2. Great Value Gouda Cheese, 8 ounces for $2. Great Value Low Moisture Part Skim Mozzarella Cheese, 8 ounces for $2. And then I decided to look at the rack. I don't know if your Walmart has it, but sometimes they bake too many goods and then they clearance out some of them. They're baked the same day, everything's fresh. So I decided that I would purchase this French bread. Let me turn it this way so you can see it a little better, it's not upside down. And the French bread. It's best used by 710, which is, um, it was packed on 77, so you have a three-day window for this. And I saved 37 cents. It was reduced on 710, so I only paid $1.10. Now, I plan on having pasta tonight for dinner, so I thought, wow, this is perfect to make some garlic bread out of, and that was a really good deal. Those are the items that I bought, and now it's on to the non-food items. The school supplies are out at 
Walmart right now, so I decided to check out the school supplies, and I found these giant paper clips from Pen and & Gear, and there are seven giant paper clips, and I thought those were really cool, and they're only 97 cents a pack. Over here, I decided to try some glue sticks. I noticed other crafters using glue sticks to put paper together, and I thought, wow, maybe I should try the glue sticks. So the glue sticks were, let me check here, I believe the glue sticks were 32 cents for the pen and gear, and the Elmer's glue stick was 62 cents. Over here, I found some really adorable decorative paper clips. And the paper clips, you get six of them for $1.97. Now, I know at the Dollar Tree right now, you can get six of them for $1.25. But check out these paper clips. They're different from the Dollar Tree. This one looks like some type of camping or exploring. I thought that was really cute. Over here, we have um, some more paper clips. Let me just lift this up. And this would be our shark paper clips. This is Danger, Shark Zone, Dun Dun Dun, Shark, and an octopus. And that was also $1.97. Then I looked at this plastic. It's a 10 storage space plastic box. And I thought, wow, for $1.44, wouldn't that be a really cute embellishment box? I thought that would be really nice. If you don't want to send anything big to someone and you just want to send a cute little Happy Mail embellishment box, this is only $1.44. I'm having a hard time finding the other boxes at Dollar Tree. I've looked at different Dollar Trees and I can't find the bigger boxes. I only find them at the Dollar Tree Plus and they're $3, but their boxes are too large for an embellishment box. So I thought this one's five and three quarters by three and a half by one and a quarter and I thought that would be perfect for like a mini embellishment box. So over here, I found some glass strand beads. And I thought, oh my goodness, they are so pretty. They have that crackly look to them. And so I purchased these beads. And the beads were $3.98. Well, thank you for spending time with me today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a positive comment. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of the week. Stay safe, stay positive, and keep crafting. Bye, my crafting friends.